It wasn't a one-way street where they were just going to come after us. So you had some Fowler in prison still? Some. This is Klaus we're talking about. Unlike most jails, we're pretty busy in there because we maneuver constantly. We're not just sitting around. We're always planning everything, you know? First, we're getting friendly with some of the decent guards. There were a few. And then we're asking them about, them about the cell tower where they can block our cell calls. So we asked them, when does, when's the general not here? He's the guy that ran the jail. When he's away, we'll pay you to change the cell tower. We start giving them money, liquor, food, cigarettes. Klaus needs the cigars and a cell phone. We start maneuvering them. And after we get to one guard, we ask them to get to another and another and so forth. We were very intelligent. Klaus is a smart guy. And then eventually we start using these guys from the gangs upstairs. They're kind of like mafia groups. Very organized, actually. And all throughout Brazil. We start making deals with them upstairs so they ride with us. And we start sending them, you know, money, drugs, cell phones. We start using them upstairs so if we do something, they did it for us. We're planning riots, we're planning sit downs, protests, we're planning to get a guy hurt by inmates from upstairs. You know, we did a lot of damage. So you and Klaus concealed your power. Kept it hidden? No, I didn't say that. 